I want our watchers and listeners to know a little bit about Downright and, and yeah. why you why you, why you came on board with them and and what what it's all about because this is a big up episode about your you yeah. and your work with them and so I want to make sure everyone knows what it's all about. It's such sure. a cool. I was I was just like deep diving and it's so awesome. But I want it from your words. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Rain. Yeah. No, it's so exciting to me. I mean, one of the things that really became of, of the utmost importance to me during 2020 was at a time where I couldn't connect with the people I was used to connecting with, whether that was, <clears throat> you know, my brothers on stage making music, whether that was the people on the other side of the, the, the floor monitors in the crowd when I was playing shows, whether that be people with the merch booth, whether that be people when I'm walking around the show and just hugging and shaking hands. This thing that I've been used to for almost, you know, like 15 years suddenly ground to a halt. And so my communication and interactions became in the DMs or in mm. emails. And I found great joy in that. And I did find connection and I really connected and got to know people. And then <clears throat> some of the value of what I learned, and I hate the word fan. I mean, I, I don't mind calling myself a fan. Like I will be say to an artist, oh my God, I'm like super fan of yours. But I don't like referring to people that, have a relationship to my music as fans. So I usually call them friends and it sounds a little pretentious, but I just try and level things out a little bit. <clears throat> so when I was in, when I was connecting with people, I really realized that there was great value in those connections rather than some like distance or mystery or anything that I'd maybe inadvertently or intentionally participated in that's that put a separation there. And so it was during that time that I found out about Downright, which was, you know, a music technology platform started by a couple of musicians where people would say, I love your song, like it told my story or, oh, my God, like that you got me through a really hard time. I, I the worst summer of my life. But this song was on repeat. It gave me life. It gave me hope. Every, you know, it, it really kept me going or um, that's my song. That's my story. So these two gentlemen, um, Mark Rose and Bob Nana, who are Chicago musicians, started this platform and said, well, why don't we tell their story? And why don't we write their song? And we, why don't we, with purpose and intention, craft a song that will get this person through a hard time where it's not by accident? And so they created this platform that allowed for them and other fellow musicians to be commissioned by fans and people who were, you know, appreciative, people who appreciated their work to reach out and say, would you write a song for me? Now that song could be, tell my story in your words through your voice, here's a few bullet points. Or it could be, I just love you as, a, as an artist and I just wanna support you. Just like go, dealer's choice, write me a song. I just want something like a one of one, something like, you know, when you write an autograph, people don't usually say, well, I want you to loop the, the, the E and I need a special heart over the I. They want something that's a gift from them to you that's bespoke and custom. And they don't care if it's a lipstick on a, on a cocktail napkin or if it's on a drum head, right? They just want to walk away with something where they can remember that, uh, that moment, that, that song, that connection. And so downright at its core is that, but it's also a way, quite simply, for artists to get paid by writing songs that they would already be writing anyways. Mm -hmm. And so... To me, the idea was like, we all sit around and we write songs. Sometimes we pick up a guitar and it's like Tom Petty said, you're throwing your line in the water and you're just hoping for a bite, and you're going fishing. Sometimes you're compelled to pick up your instrument and you know exactly what you're gonna write. But what's great about Downright is whether it's somebody who's a total casual fan who's saying, I want a gift from my partner for our anniversary, or whether it's somebody going, oh my God, I can't believe this person is on the platform they get to reach out and have a custom song written just for them. But then that song exists in the world and they will always be able to say, that's my song. That's a song that was written so, for me. So cool. So, so cool. So what, and you're, are you recruiting artists or what are you doing with, with Downright? Cause you're part of the team now. Yeah. Like it's great. I mean, I've done independent a and and consulting in the music industry for a number of years. I've executive produced projects and I mean, everything sort of shy of managing I've done because part of my thing is that I believe in mentorship and I believe in paying it forward and the cycle. And if we achieve commercial success, if we achieve notoriety through our music, or if we just 
creatively achieve that we have a responsibility to help the next in doing so. And honestly, that's why Launch Left is so incredible to me because, <clears throat> you know, whether it's Spike Jones or whether it's, you know, Brit, um, the idea that someone who I love is able to tell me what they love and then I put my attention towards them, I might not have known about those people before. And so I think that that's, and, and this, bigging up something, it's very hard for me to self-promote and tell you to listen to my new record. But if, if you're playing at Zebulon, I'm telling everybody. And I'm going to like, I'm going to let everybody know that the two shows of the four that I saw was amazing. And you've got to go see Ray and Phoenix play and blah, 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 blah. Because I love shining a light where I think there is something special. And so my role at Downright, technically I'm the vice president of artist services. I run the A&R division and I work with a, a bunch of the label services. So what we do <clears throat> is I can wake up one morning and say, who's the dream artist that I wanna work with? Who would I, who do I love that's, that's current from my past? Who's meaningful to me that I would love to work with? I reach out to that person and I say, hey, here's what we are. Here's who we are. Here's what we do. I would love for this to fit alongside the other things you do and find a way for you to make music, for you to be paid equitably, equitably for it, and for you to further engage with your fans and friends. And I get to nurture and foster those relationships and build connections. I get to discover music and I get to find ways to put out that music into the world. So I get to work as, in some ways, as an A&R man for a label, as a, a, a a publisher for a co-publishing company as just somebody who's shining a light as you do and say, Hey, by the way, have you heard about Nathan Graham? Like, you know, a Chicago bluesman Americana artist who's absolutely amazing. I discovered him on the platform. He came into town and played hotel cafe last week. I was there and I was like, this is incredible. And now I'm able to besides downright shine a light on what he's doing. And he's been on downright and killing it, writing incredible songs and putting out music. Um, there's an artist that I just discovered because he was busking in our neighborhood in Los Feliz. And I was having a meeting and I kept hearing this sound. And I was like, what is that? What is that? And I got up from the meeting and I walked over and I went, oh my God. And I recognized the song he was playing and he was doing this incredible cover. And I was like, who are you? Like, I was so blown away. I got his information. We stayed in touch. And now not only is, is he on Downright, but I'm helping him with his career and going, hey, man, like, why aren't you playing shows? Like, why don't people know about you? Like, so there's so many ways that we use what we have, right? You have this. And, and we use what we have in order to expose people to something special because we want there to be great art in the world. And there's so much noise. How do you cut through the noise? One way is if you have a platform and if you have a voice, use it for others. So yeah. my role at Downright is I don't love the word recruiting because I feel like I'm offering a service to people and saying, I, I would love for you. I, I want to make something with you. I want to make a song. I want to make a body of work. I just love you and I want you to come here and I want you to make music and I want you to make money and I want for your fans to walk away feeling nourished and have something special. And so it's, kind of like unparalleled like th there's no other place where I could do what I do and it's pretty amazing you're pretty amazing you no. are amazing I'm not gonna say pretty I'm just gonna say you're, <laughs> you're amazing um no seriously I I love and you get it so much what we're doing here with launch left and all the various ways we do it it's all about that it's like sharing the wealth so to speak and uh and it, it does make a difference when someone we admire picks someone new, you know? So uh, that's what you're doing is so great because you're able to, you're curating. Yeah, you're a and but you're kind of curating too. And also providing a service for artists to get further in what they love to do. So thank you. Kudos to you and to Downright for doing this work. It's so powerful. Well, thank you, Rain. I think it's, I love it. I mean, look, like, there's nothing more exciting to me than community, right? And I and I and I watched, you know, another episode um, where your friends from Gainesville were talking about community. And I think that 
in a place like Los Angeles, people think we don't have community, right? And we do. And there's an art community and there's food community and there's like, you know, there's every kind of community that you could seek out. Like it is there for you. And so for me, I've always just wanted to be a part of something, right? And like, that's kind of why you want to join a band. Yes, you want to make music, but you want to be a part of something. That's why people find religion. That's why people find, you know, that's why people get loaded. That's like, you want to be amongst your peers and be a part of something bigger than yourself. And so to me, I'm always trying to foster a community, like whether it was being like 20 years old and wanting to move into a house with a bunch of artists and having some like factory setting or some like commune of artists in and out of there and trying to create that or whether it be supporting friend shows or discovering an artist like this dude who I'm going to big up named Fleece Kawasaki. Mind-blowing artist. Like he has a community of other artists where he's got a collective called Fleece Jones, which is three artists that are working together that are like Los Angeles buskers that are like doing this transformative, incredible, beautiful, like, you know, gloomy pop music that's like mind-blowing. Like whenever, like, whenever I find that community, I want to be a part of it. I want to amplify it. I want to push it out. And what's so rad about Downright is whether it's me saying like, who are my favorite artists from the 90s who like are still in constant rotation? Well, I want to make records with you or who are going to be the, somebody next, somebody's next favorite artist. I want to discover them. And so it's so fun. It's so cool. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you. And can tell us how we can find you and Downright on social media everywhere that we can find everything. Tell us. Yeah, 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 for sure. So Downright is at on Instagram. It's at Get Downright. And on the web, it's not an app based. It's a browser based website. And it's downright.com, D-O-W-N-W-R-I-T-E. Um, and whether you're somebody who wants to commission a piece of music, or whether you're somebody that's an artist that wants to sign up. I mean, you know, the one thing that I didn't say is kind of amazing that I will just sort of throw in there, Rain, which is kind of insane to me, is in a time when people are trying to understand Web3, blockchain, NFTs, and there's so many things that happen fast and furious in our new media era. It's not just music, it's media, right? And it's like collectibles, it's music, it's art, it's all these things are happening, speed of light right now. And there's always a learning curve. If you decide tomorrow that you want to be on Twitch, you have to migrate people from YouTube to Twitch. It's like a learning curve, right? NFTs are something that not everybody understands. What's amazing about Downright is if somebody, somebody says, I want to commission a song from Art Alexakis and Everclear or Richard Patrick and Filter or the Lady Tigra or Nathan Graham or Justin Warfield or Mickey Avalon or any number of artists that are on there not only can they commission an original song, but when that song goes out on Spotify, whether it's sold on a piece of vinyl or a cassette or a CD, or whether it ends up being on like a season of a show on HBO or a streamer and we place it in a sink, the person who's the fan who commissions the song is going to get a percentage of the earnings of that song. So right. it's not some mysterious sort of, how do I understand it blockchain thing that you need to like take a course in something to understand. It's very simple. It's if you commission a song from an artist that you love, you have an investment in it in, in, in a way because you're going to get 5% of anything that happens for the life of that song, which is totally insane to me and amazing. So cool. And so, yeah, yeah. so at get downright on Instagram, downright.com. I'm easy. I'm just at Justin Warfield and justinwarfield.com. And awesome. I'm making music and I'm excited to play shows. I hope you're going to play music. Like, I know that this is your bigging up me, but can I big up you for a second? <laughs> Are you going to be playing shows anytime soon? Yes, of course. It's happening. It's going to happen. I just got to get on the other side of bigging up you. <laughs> okay. Because you know no. that, like, I want to be in the crowd watching you once again. You, you're going to be the one of the first people I, I let know. I'm already, we're ruminating on it. I just have to figure out how to do it because we're in the middle of so many other things right now. I want to devote proper time. But, Understood. Um, thank you so much for being on Big Up, and, and thank you so much for being on Launch Left and being such a great friend throughout the years and an inspiration, and I can't wait to see you in person soon. I can't wait to see you and give you a big hug. <laughs> 